Chicago is known for its chilly winter weather, its towering skyscrapers, and its iconic food scene that reflects cultures from all over the world. The city experienced an influx of immigrants in the 1800s, resulting in numerous sub-communities that have created a melting pot with some of the greatest foods of all time. Whether you're craving a fancy steak dinner or simply itching for a snack, Chicago offers a variety of foods that are tightly integrated with the city's culture. Although it's easy to find yourself a good meal in the Windy City, we've got the ultimate list of foods you need to try on your next visit to Chicago. First, there's Jim's Original, which prides itself on being the original Maxwell Street Polish sausage stand, a title that the owner has actually trademarked. Jim's Original has provided authentic Polish sausage dogs to the city of Chicago for over 80 years and is now serving across two locations. The original Maxwell Street Polish Sausage Sandwich is the dish that you absolutely have to order. It includes a crunchy Polish sausage that is slathered with grilled Spanish onions, spicy peppers, and yellow mustard. This Chicago hotspot is open 24-7, making it a perfect late night stop for both locals and visitors. When people think about food in Chicago, they often think of the city's famous deep dish pizza before anything else. If you're looking for some authentic deep dish that is native to Chicago, look no further than Lou Malnati's. This restaurant is well known in Chicago and has expanded outside the city with over 60 locations throughout Illinois. What makes this pizza so unique? Chicago style pizzas are made in a different order compared to what you would see with a traditional thin crust pizza. First, the cheese is placed on the dough. It's then followed by the veggies and meats as desired. And the tomato sauce is poured on top. Sprinkle a little more cheese over the sauce and you have yourself a Chicago style pizza. Some say, that is only truly possible to make this type of pizza in the city of Chicago because water from Lake Michigan is needed to make the crust taste just right. If you're looking to treat yourself to a fancy meal, book your reservation at Alinea, a restaurant that has been awarded three Michelin stars. You'll definitely need a reservation for this one, especially if you have a special night in mind. Alinea prides itself on providing a multi-sensory experience that is almost theatrical in nature. You can choose to dine at the kitchen table, the gallery, or the salon, each of which offer a completely different experience. The menu provides a variety of choices, from seafood to pork to elevated vegetable dishes. An interesting fact about this restaurant is that its chef, Grant Ockitz, battled tongue cancer and has overcome this illness to become one of the top chefs worldwide. Our next stop is for a famous Windy City treat at Rainbow Cone. Founded by Grandpa Joe and his wife, Catherine, Rainbow Cone has been around since 1926. The most iconic order at this shop is unsurprisingly, the original Rainbow Cone. What makes this treat unique is that it is layered with five different flavors of ice cream that are stacked, rather than scooped, upon one another. The traditional flavors still stand true today and include orange sherbet, pistachio, Palmer House, strawberry, and chocolate. The Rainbow Cone is a perfect sampling that offers a little taste of everything. Speaking of sweets, another Chicago food that you must try is the famous Ann Sather cinnamon roll. Ann Sather first opened in 1945 and was run by the same woman for 35 years. This Swedish diner serves all day breakfast and is best known for its fluffy homemade cinnamon rolls. Each roll comes perfectly iced in a coating that is sweet, yet not too overbearing to the taste buds. You can grab two a la carte for just a few dollars. If you're feeling bold in your own kitchen, check out the diner's website for the cinnamon roll recipe and see if you can reproduce the magic within your own home. Al's number one Italian beef, first established in 1938 by an Italian-American immigrant, is an award-winning restaurant known for its sandwiches. The establishment has opened several locations throughout Chicago and a few outside of the city limits as well. When ordering your sandwich, you'll be provided with a variety of options for how you want it prepared, including dry, with the option of adding gravy on the side, wet, the standard, or dipped. Most people prefer the wet or dipped versions of the sandwich, and don't forget to add your hot or sweet peppers. Alice has even provided instructions for eating the sandwich, which is endearingly known as the Italian stance. This involves planting your elbows on the table, 
leaning forward, spreading your feet apart, and eating the sandwich over the counter so you won't make a mess. Whether you want to take the stance in the restaurant or at home, be sure to add Al's number one Italian beef to your bucket list of foods. Next, we have Garrett Popcorn, which is one of the most famous staples of the Windy City. The most popular flavor is the Garrett Mix, which is a combination of caramel and cheese flavored popcorns. While this combination may sound a bit strange, the flavors actually mesh well together. Garrett creates all of its popcorn fresh, and the recipes have been passed down from generation to generation. If you're far from Chicago and craving some popcorn, you can have it shipped to your home. Whether you've got an inkling for something sweet, salty, or a combination of the two, Garrett popcorn is a perfect stop when you're looking for a snack along the streets of Chicago. Some people may not be aware of it, but the Windy City has incredible Mexican foods rooted in a thriving Latin culture. One of these restaurants, called La Pasadita, is a taquera offering simple, classic Mexican dishes like barracoa, chili reno, and carne asado tacos in soft corn shells. These tacos are served a la carte and are only a few dollars each. The price also includes optional toppings like cilantro, rice, and lettuce. La Pasadita sells over 3,500 tacos per day, and it serves as a great option for a quick bite to eat or a full sit-down meal. Manny's Cafeteria and Delicatessen is a renowned Jewish deli. The restaurant serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but the most famous dish is the classic corned beef on rye bread. Manny's is open seven days a week, but closes at 3.30 p.m. on Sundays and Mondays, so be sure to grab lunch before it gets too late on those days. Manny serves an important role in the Chicago Jewish community and has been in business since 1942. Our next stop is Harold's Chicken Shack, which is known for its crispy fried chicken topped with mild sauce. Harold's has several locations throughout Chicago and serves a wide variety of chicken dishes. There's also an array of hearty sides available like mac and cheese, fries, and potato salad. Something that makes Harold's unique is that it is franchised out to different store owners, so each store is a little different. However, each location serves fresh, high-quality food that is made to order. Harold's is a great place to stop if you're on the go, and they even have their own catering program and food truck. If you're wanting to try some Puerto Rican fare in the heart of Chicago, look no further than La Bamba, an authentic restaurant serving the Hiburrito sandwich. The Hiburrito is a dish that was originally created in Chicago. It is a sandwich that subs out bread for crispy fried plantains and also comes with meat, lettuce, tomato, and cheese. The plantains are slathered with a delicious mayo and serve as the perfect bread alternative to support the rest of the sandwich. The he burrito is just one culinary contribution that has become ingrained in Chicago culture thanks to Puerto Rican influence. Podolenka, a traditional Polish restaurant on Division Street, is a cute, comfortable place to enjoy classic Polish dishes. Serving up crispy pierogi, which are dumplings that have been stuffed with some sort of filling such as potatoes, cabbage, and meat, pull a sausage, and potato pancakes. Podolenka hits the spot in terms of Eastern European comfort dishes. Just pull up a bar stool and take a ride all the way to Poland without having to leave the streets of Chicago. Visitors and locals both agree that Chicago is a food lover's paradise that offers dishes from a variety of cultures. Whether you want a quick bite or have a few hours to indulge in a multi-course meal, the Windy City can cater to taste buds from all over the world. Don't forget to save room for dessert, whether it's a fresh bag of sweet and salty popcorn from Garrett or a rainbow cone, sliced instead of scooped. 